uh, bila kawia uh, soma alafu tuendelee Uh, kumbu kumbu la torati sura ya kaine mustari ya satetu kumbu kumbu la torati Unaweza kulitia kwa kibao? Deuteronomy chapter 4:32. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 32. Unaweza soma. Tasoma katika jina la Bwana Yesu Kristo. Maana uliza sasa siku zilizopita zilizokuwa kabla yako. Tangu siku ile Mungu aliyeumba mwanadamu juu ya nchi natoka pembe hii ya mbingu hata pembe hii kwamba kumetukia neno lolote kama neno hili kubwa au kwamba kumesikiwa habari ya neno kama hili okay nadhani yote okay asbana wabariki amen is a kit you may be seated sema uswali nyakati zilizopita he is said to ask the previous or past times swali wa babu zenu huko kabla ask you a great great grandfathers before kama jambo kama hili ambalo lilitukia leo limeshakawaitu if something like this which has happened today has already happened before That's what the Bible says. Leo kuna jambo ambalo Mungu alitenda leo. Today there is something that the Lord has done. Yenyewe hata Biblia haijawahi kusema kuongea kuhusu. That thing even the Bible did not talk about it. Leo today. Mimi wakati naingia hapa kwenu naona mnatia picha ya Nabii pale. When I was coming I saw you putting the picture of the prophet there. Ukishatia hiyo picha pale. If when as long as you have put that picture there. Na ukishatia nyingine hivi unaitia hapo. And you put another one here. Maana yake unatuambia hivi. That means you are telling us. Umu ukiingia umu. That when you enter this place. Utarajie kusikia ujongojelee kusikia maneno ya Nabii. That as long as you are here you will hear the words of the prophet. Anjo hiyo ni kuelewa yangu. That's my understanding. Sasa ukishatia hivi. So uh, when you put the picture like this. Kisha wanakuhubiri nabii. And they preach to you the prophet. Unasema mimi ha. And you say no I don't want that. Nadhani sio I think it was it was better not to put the picture. Sababu ni hiyo ni ujumbe ambao unatupatia sisi. Because that the message that you are giving us you are telling us through the picture. Ah, ya kwamba mkiingia hapa hapa ni maneno ya nabii tu. You are telling us through the picture that when you come here the words here are only the words of the prophet. Yeah. Sasa ujumbe wa nabii ni kubwa sana wapendo. So the message of the prophet is so great brethren. Ni kubwa sana. It is so great. Mimi nahubiri sehemu yangu ambayo hiyo nilipata huko ndani. I preach my part which I have received here. Na wewe unaweza na wewe kuhubiri sehemu yako ilitoa huko ndani. And also you can preach your part that you have got from this message. Lakini nabii hawezi ye peke yake kujipiga vita. But the prophet cannot fight with himself. Uh, cannot contradict himself in other uh, ways. Kukiwa vita ni maana yake hiyo vita iko ndani yetu sisi. If there is a contradiction, 
That contradiction is within ourselves, not in the message. But not in the message. And it is so difficult. Me as a preacher. It is so difficult for you to want me as a preacher to preach like you. It is so difficult. It's very difficult. But just allow me to read the prophet's words. But to preach like you, it is, it is not impossible because I am the preacher. I am the preacher. It is not possible. Even if I even if I will try to, to respect the words that you believe there will be one thing or something that I will go out of, of your line yes because I am the preacher and I'm not your preacher no. I am the preacher of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you also, you are not my preacher. So why do you want me to preach like you? It is impossible. So you try to understand me. And you will see if that brother so you will be able to say if that brother read uh, the prophet, you will say that brother uh, he read the prophet moja, but one thing he misunderstood the scriptures Sasa we mzuri, so you who have a proper understanding sasa yu ma, yu yu mandiko, take the same sasa, scriptures we and you understand them better Amen. there is no problem that way Amen. and the prophet say to misunderstand the way is not he said in the message God made misunderstood to misunderstand the word is not sin it is a brother who is misunderstanding but is not sin God bless you now we will read the prophet we all of us all of us here so after that everyone will understand the way God will give it God bless you let, let us uh, talk a little about the seven thunders. Don't just hear they say thunders and they you begin to panic. They say thunders. They say thunders. Don't panic. Thunders. Thunders. It is not something that we come from heaven and begin to make noise here in Dar es Salaam. And then everybody will be scared. When they hear the word thunders, Maybe, maybe, maybe there is somebody here who is seated here and then when he heard we speaking about thunder say, hey, now this brother is talking about thunders. <laughs> they begin now to talk about thunders. Let's read in the Bible. Amen. One day, Lord, our Lord Jesus kuko maneno fulani Mungu alimwambia Bwana Yesu there are some words which the Lord told Jesus Christ. Let's, let's read John chapter 12 26 to 29 
hapa wa, wa Greek walienda kumuona bwana Yesu here the, the Greeks went to see the Lord Jesus sasa wakati walifika huko when they, they arrived there uh, tunaweza anzia hapa ku 23 we will begin from verse 23 Jesus uh, oh 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 iko wapi mimi niko na biblia okay yes, uh, tunaweza anzia hata hapa sawa kwa kuomba muda moto akinitumikia na ananifuata na mimi nilipo ndipo na mtumishi wangu atakapokuwa kuwapo tena mtu akinitumikia baba atamheshimu sasa roho yangu ime ni wapi sasa roho yangu imefadhaika nami nisemeje baba uniokoe katika saa hii lakini ni kwa ajili ya hayo nilivyo ifikia saa hii baba ulitukuze jina lako basi ikaja sauti kutoka mbinguni nimelitukuza nami nitalitukuza tena basi mkutano uliosimama karibu wakasikia walisema ya kwamba kumekuwa ngurumo wengine walisema malaika amesema amesema naye sawa bwana yesu akasema aka, aka bwana atukuza jina akasema baba atukuza jina lako the lord said father glorify your name mungu anajibia and god answered baba akajibia Fa, the father answered i have glorified it i will glorify it Sasa again. Yesu, so the lord jesus himself he was the one who he, tena. he, he was the one who had those words i have glorified it and i will glorify it again. Again. but the people around him they had the thunders sasa nabii anafasilia ngurumo ni nini? Now the prophets uh, give us the interpretation what is the thunder? Nabii anasema ngurumo the prophet say the thunder ni sauti ya Mungu. It is the voice of God. Amen. Mungu anaposema when God speaks walio wake those who are his watasikia maneno yote wazi wazi. They will hear all the words open lakini hawa wengine wenyekuwa kando but the other around them ile kutokuelewa yao because of their misunderstanding ile, ile kutokuelewa yao they are on misunderstanding inaitwa ngurumo it is called thunders amen, amen, amen. lakini watu watu wa, wa Mungu wao wanasikia sauti wazi but the people of god they will hear the voice plainly ngurumo sio kitu kingine ni sauti ya Mungu the thunders The thunder is not something other than the voice of God. Tusome. Tusome na bi. Let's read the prophet. Sababu nilisema maneno kuhusu ngurumo sasa inaweza kuwa ayeeleweke vizuri. Because I said some words about the thunders maybe somebody misunderstood. Okay. Tunasoma uh, pre, uh muhuri wa kwanza. The first is in Uh, iko mbali ni Kiingereza ni kombali sai paragraph uh, the first is you um, 146 paragraph 146 ah tunaweza anzia 47 kwa, kwa kukomboa muda 47 umelipata 47 147 you can write on um. oh, okay okay when the thunder when the thunder 
wakati ilipo nguruma remember kumbuka a loud clapping noise of a thunder sauti kubwa au sauti kubwa inao kama ya, ya kunguruma a loud clapping noise of a thunder sauti kubwa inao nguruma ya ngurumo is a voice of god ni sauti ya mungu That's what the Bible says. Hicho ndicho Biblia inachosema. Ah, Biblia inasema nini? Inasema sauti kubwa inayo nguruma ni, ni sauti ya Mungu. The Bible says the loud clapping noise of a thunder. That's what the Bible says. Hicho ndicho Biblia inasema. Eh Iko wapi? A clap of thunder. Huh? Iko wapi? Iko wapi? That's what the Bible says. Nicho, nicho, See, nicho, nicho, a clap of thunder. Ngurumo, uh, sauti ya ngurumo. They thought it was a thunder. Walifikiri ilikuwa ni ngurumo. But it was God. Lakini ilikuwa ni Mungu. He understood it. Yeye alielewa ha for it was revealed to him. Kwa sababu ilifunuliwa kwake. See? It was a thunder. Oh, ilikuwa ngurumo. Ilikuwa ngurumo kwa wale wengine. Lakini kwa Bwana Yesu ilikuwa nimelitukuza, nitalitukuza tena. To others it was a thunder, but to the Lord Jesus it was the words I have glorified and I will glorify it again. Bwana wabariki. Amen. Tunasoma tena uh forte tulikuwa hapa, tunasoma uh, 152 aya mia msina mbili ujumbe huo huo fasi muhuri wa kwanza kwa kwa kuomboa muda yeah. twende ku 166 uh, aya mia sitina sita kwa kuokoa muda uh, verse 166 to save time uh And then one of, of the four beasts said Nipo mmoja wale wenye uhai wa nne kasema Now come see what it is Sasa njoo uone ni nini What is revealed beneath here Ni kitu gani kimefunuliwa chini Oh my Oh jamani John write what you seen Yohana andika kile ulichoona So John goes to look see John goes to look. Ndipo Yohana anatoka kwenda kuona. See what it was. Kuona kilikuwa nini? John goes to see what the thunder said. Yohana akaenda kuangalia kile ambacho ngurumo ilisema. It's then that this creature told John. Ni hicho ambacho huyu mwenye uhai alimwambia Yohana. Come see what the mystery is under the first seal. Njoo uone siri ni nini chini ya huu muhuri wa kwanza. The thunder Ngurumo the voice of the creator sauti ya muumbaji as uh, as uttered it as uttered it imetamka au imenguruma hilo okay ngurumo ni sauti ya muumbaji yes. the thunder is the voice of the creator Amen. sasa kuna kuna miuri saba now there are seven seals sasa hiyo miuri saba those seven seals ni mifano they are symbols Ngurumo sita yote ni mifano mifano. Those six series all of them are symbols. Sasa. Now. Sawa vile huyu anapanda kwenye farasi nyeupe. It is a, farasi kwenye farasi nyeupe. It is a, a, a white horse rider on it is a rider on white horse. Sisi wote tukisoma tunasema mpanda farasi juu ya farasi mweupe. We all who are reading we say it is a is a rider upon the white horse. Sasa now Mungu yeye anafasilia. God gives interpretation. Anatuambia huyo mpanda farasi mnaona huko ni ibilisi. And he says that horse rider whom you see is the devil. Ni antichrist. It is the antichrist. Anaenda anatuambia hiyo. He goes and explains to us. Hiyo mafasilio iko natupatia hiyo. Those interpretations which he gives us. Ndio ngurumo. Those are thunders jo kwa maana nabii anasema Those, that, that's why the prophet says ngurumo saba the seven the seven thunders zimefunuliwa are revealed ndani ya miuri saba in the seven seals yeah, yeah. 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 naona hiyo ngurumo 
grumo saba the seven seals ndani ya miuri saba the seven sasa, thunders are revealed within the seven the sasa seven watu seven. wakati anafungua hiyo kitabu ya miuri saba now when they are opening that that book of the seven seals they want to say where the thunders here where are the thunders here where are the thunders here sasa nabii anasema zinafunuliwa ndani ya miuri saba but the prophet say they are revealed within the seven seals ni nini hiyo what is that ni hiyo ma mafasilio ile wakati nabii kuna fasilio are those revelations which the prophet were giving muuri kisha nyingine muuri kisha one seal after the other one seal after the other hiyo ni sauti ya Mungu that is the voice of god ikifasilia hiyo which gives the interpretation hiyo mifano the of those symbols Sio vitu vya kukimbia. It is not something to run here and there and, and be scared about. Oh, huyo anaza gani? Anaza maneno ngurumo. Oh, that uh, is now beginning the words of the thunders now. So where are we going now? Asbona ubariki. May the Lord bless you. Um sasa hata kuna maneno hapa. Si unaona hapa kwa Biblia? Oh. There are some words here in the Bible. Si unaona hapa kwa Biblia? You see in the Bible kuna maneno fulani hapa. Kwa wapi niliweka wapi? Sikitazi pata. Revelation book of Ah, oh. tuweze kusoma kwenye Daniel. Daniel Daniel Let's chapter open the book of Daniel 12 Kitabu cha Daniel sura ya 12 Ine kwa ta, kutano verse 4 to 5 and verse Daniel 12 mstari wa 4 mpaka wa 5 na 9 to 10 na mstari wa 9 mpaka wa 10 Daniel sura ya 12 Lakini wewe e hey Daniel yafunge maneno haya ukakitie uka muhuri kitabu hata wa, wa hata wakati wa mwisho wengi wataenda mbio huko na huko na maarifa yataongezeka ndipo mimi Daniel nikatazama na nikata, nikatazama eh, na na kumbe wamesimama wengine wawili mmoja ukingoni mwa mto upande huu na mmoja ukingoni mwa mto upande wa pili na mmoja akamuuliza yule okay tuachie hapo twende sasa ku 9 mpaka 10 verse 9 to 10 Daniel chapter 12 akasema sababu Daniel alimwambia because Daniel told asked twende ku 8 verse 8 inasema nini verse 8 okay nami nikasikia lakini sikuelewa ndipo nikasema ye bwana wangu mwisho wa mambo haya itakuwaje akasema enenda zako Daniel maana maneno haya yamefungwa na kutiwa muhuri hata wakati wa mwisho wengi watayaji, watajitakasa na kujifanya weupe na kusafika bali wabaya watatenda mabaya wala hata wata wa, 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 wataelewa mtu mbaya awe yote mbali wao okay sasa hapa ndugu brana anasema hivi the prophet says here anasema hii maneno iko hapo he say those words which are there anasema ni ngurumo he say is are the thunders anasema mungu aliongea na danieli god spoke to daniel 
But Daniel did not understand what God was talking to him. And God spoke to Daniel many words. But Daniel did not understand. Daniel Daniel said, I'm your prophet, let me understand. And God said, no, Daniel, you can't understand those words. To see the, I see the way I created you and the way I know you. These words are not at your level. Are not for you. You go sleep with your people. Be gathered with your people. But in the last days, I will have my group on the earth. In, uh, in that group of mine, my own group, I will reveal these things. May the Lord bless you. Let's read this. Uh, Revelation book of symbols. symbols. But remember, Lakini kumbuka. Paragraph 64. Yes. Wape. But remember, Daniel was told by the angel. Lakini kumbuka, Daniel aliambiwa na malaika. Daniel had seven thunders. Daniel alisikia ngurumo saba. They uttered their voice. Wa zilitoa sauti zake. Daniel grabbed his pen and started to write. Daniel akachukua kalamu yake na kuanza kuandika. And the angel said, na malaika akamwambia, "Don't you write it." Usiandike. Amen. Amen. Are you ready? Je, mko tayari? Let's get into into it just for about the next 5 minutes. Hebu tuingilie jambo hilo kwa dakika 5 zijazo. Will you? Je, mko tayari? Amen. Ah, ndugu ndugu Dennis, bado hujali, hawalipata hii. Listen, sikiza. Don't you write it? Usiandike. John saw the same thing. Yohana aliona jambo lile lile. And it had already be written outside of the Bible. Na lilikuwa tayari limeandikwa nyuma ya Biblia. And at seven seals on the back of the book. Na kulikuwa na mihuri saba nyuma ya kitabu. That no man could open those seals. Ambayo hakuna mtu angeweza kufungua hiyo mihuri. That was them voices. Hizo zilikuwa hizo sauti. Here is the Bible written. Hii hapa Biblia imeandikwa which is a mystery. Ambayo itself. ambayo yeye yenyewe Biblia ni fumbo au ni But on the back side of the bible lakini nyuma ya biblia the revelation was shown to daniel ufunuo ulionyeshwa kwa daniel say that there are seven voices to be uttered Ata, ikisema kwamba kuna sauti saba za ku, za kutamkwa that no man could open ambazo hakuna mwanadamu angeweza kufungua no man no no know it what it was hakuna mwanadamu alijua ni nini but the bible said lakini biblia ilisema and it told daniel na ikamwambia daniel and also john na pia yohana that hilo in the last days iwaambia kwamba katika siku za mwisho these seven voices hizi sauti saba would be known by the real true church zitajulikana na kanisa halisi la kweli Amen. Amen. Kusiku za mwisho in the last days kanisa halisi ya kweli the real true church lazima ijue haya mambo. It must know these things. Bwana ubariki. Lord may the Lord bless you. Njoo kwa kwa maana because katika siku kubwa sana we are living the great day. Siku kubwa siku kubwa sana. The very great day. Huyo Paulo ambao watu wanajivunia vunia naye that the power that people are boasting about Nabii anasema the prophet says mambo Mungu anatupatia leo the things that God is giving us today possibility ambayo Mungu anatupatia leo uwezekano which God is giving us today anasema he says hata hata ndoto Daniel hata kuota ndoto hivi yeah. bado hajalota hajapata ndoto ya maneno Mungu anatupatia that, leo. That Daniel Paul, that Paul, hata katika ndoto, that 
that Paul did not even dream the things which God is giving us today. Even in a dream. Let's read. Even in a dream. Paulo, 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 Paulo. Now, Paul, Paul, Paulo, Paul, was a great man of God, but his time passed. Leo ni muda wa nabii Branham. Today is the time for the prophet Branham. Hii neno tu ililetwa na nabii Branham. This word was brought by the prophet Branham. Ponya cancer. It, it heals cancer. This word inabadilisha maisha ya watu. It changed the lives of the people. Makahaba wanakuwa watakatifu wa Mungu. The the wars the wars are converted into being saints of God. Walevi wanabadilika wanakuwa mapastors. The drunkards are changed into pastors. Inabadilisha maisha ya watu. It changed the lives of the people. Kuna nguvu ya ajabu. There is a wonderful power. Ndani ya ujumbe wa Nabii Branham. The message of the prophet Branham. Tubaki kwenye ujumbe tuhubiri ujumbe. Let's remain in the message and preach the message. Tuhubiri ujumbe. Let's preach the message. Nawaambia wapendwa tuhubiri ujumbe. I'm telling you brethren let's preach the message. Nawaambia tuhubiri tu ujumbe. I'm telling you let's press, let's uh, preach the message. Tusome nabii. Let's read the prophet. Tunaweza soma hapa. Eskeni hapa kweli Mungu anisaidie Edi mondani Eh naona sawa hii haimo Alafu acha nitafute hapa lakini iko kwa Kifaransa tutaitafuta haraka haraka Let me look at it it is in the French but I will quickly look into it Umeipata hapa I got it here sasa tutaisoma kwenye we will read it nadhani ni tuko nayo hapa inaweza kuwa ni hapa ni so si hapa ah, ni hapa ah. 65040410 the Easter seal. Okay. Uh, paragraph 220. 220. Apa kwa kwa French. Uh, paragraph is also on now. Ah. Okay. ah. Look at Paul said in the last day 221 Ngoa Sasa atia Paulo tia tu Paul tutamtafuta hapa Tia tu hapa tutamtafuta hapa Tulipata hapa hiyo 221 Look at Paul 221 Dream dream Kule inatoka Ah sio hiyo Kuna nafasi Okay Andika dream tone Sasa huko wanasema hivi wa Kristo uh, 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 oh chrétien quelle possibilité possibilité hein? andika ta kitu kama possibility nous avons nous avons une possibilité que l'apôtre Paul n'aurait même pas rêvé possibilité amuna apostle Paul apostle Paul Mona. Uh, okay. Um, invisible union. Inta 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 ipata inta ileta. 
sababu kuna paragraph zingine kiingereza na nani anaweza andika Enoch Elia kwa hiyo hiyo tu nini Enoch Elijah Christian ewa em Kristo what op, eh, opportunity we have ni fursa jinsi gani tuliyonayo we have opportunities that sample never dreamed of having of having tuna fursa ambazo mtakatifu paulo hakuwahi kuota kuwa nazo we have opportunities that Enoch and Elijah and all of them never had Tuna fursa ambazo Enoko na Elia na wote hao hawakuwahi kuwa nazo. Amen. Amen. Sasa nyinyi ambao mnaketi hapa Mungu mnadirudisha nyuma. Mnaenda mnaona kama wale watu wa kibiblia ni waajabu sana. You are sitting here you are drawing yourselves back. Una mnawaza kama wale watu wana ambao majina yao yuko katika Biblia. You think those people whose name are in the Bible? Ni waajabu sana kuliko wale wonderful. Kuliko hata mapastors wenu. That they are more than your own pastors. Kwa sababu majina yao imeandikwa katika Biblia. Because their names are in the Bible. Unaona? You see? Lakini possibilities but the uwezekano yenye sisi tunao leo tulizo nazo the possibility wale 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 those people in the bible did not have those kind of opportunities i'm telling you the truth hata watoto wetu wa sunday school wanajua mambo ambayo wale wale mnawaanzia wale hawaijui even our sunday school children even our sunday school children know things which those people never knew sasa kama mnawasoma kwenye Biblia mnaona kama ni watu wa ajabu sana. So if you are reading them in the Bible you feel they are so wonderful people. Kwa sababu wameandikwa katika Biblia. Because they are written in the Bible. Si Paulo hao wale watu wote wa kibiblia majina yao wanaandika tu wakati weko kumimbari, weko mkazi ya Mungu na ma. All those people in the Bible their names are written when, when they are they are doing uh, God's work. Lakini hatujua kwa nyumba yao walikuwa wanaishi na mna gani na wake wao but we don't know in their houses the way they were living with their wives Hatujui we don't know Ni mmoja tu ambaye tunajua maisha yake yote ni ndugu Branham The only one who, who we knows the, all his life is just the prophet Branham Yes Hao wengine wote maneno yao ni wakati wako katika kazi ya Mungu All others their things we know is when they are doing the work so the work of God. Nikama mimi hapa. It is only me here. Si wanaweza andika hiyo yote na na ufanye hapa Tanzania. Afu they can na, na they can nyumbani mwangu na mke wangu na watoto. Mwangu naijua. They can write all things that I'm doing here in Tanzania but the things which I'm living at my home with my children you don't know. Na wale watu wote wa Biblia ni hivyo. And all those people in the Bible are the same. Msiwaze kama walikuwa watu wa ajabu sana. Don't think that they were very special people like than you. Wewe well, ni wa ajabu sana. You are the special people. Sababu because ma- maneno ambayo Mungu aliyaficha Daniel. The things which God ha- he- uh, hit Daniel. Maneno ambayo Mungu alimkataza Yohana kuandika. The thing which God forbade John to write. Leo wewe unayajua. You are the one who knows them. Wewe leo unajua. You are the one who know. Kabla ya mwanzo kulikuwa umilele. Even before the beginning that there was eternity. Kuna kumilele kulikuwa hilo hili. Even in the eternity Elohim was there. Lakini wale watu hawakujua hiyo. Those people never knew that. Sio kusema na wazarao ni wanatifu wa Mungu them they are sense of God kwa na muda wao they had their time sasa huu ni muda wa nabii Branham na wewe na mimi but so this is the time of the prophet Branham with you and me si hii safari nafanya si kama ni biblia si wanaweza andika ndugu Bukasa akatoka Kongo alisindikizwa na mke wake ana if it is the bible they can write Uh, brother Bukasa came from Congo I escorted with his wife eh, na mchungaji ch- eh, Chibambo and eh, pastor Chibambo alisindikizwa na ndugu msaidizi wake wa kazi kanisani oh, escorted with the elder helper in the church 
walipofika Dar es Salaam and when they arrived in Dar es Salaam waliwapokea kwa ndugu Kambarage uh, they were received at Kambarage's home siku ya kwanza pastor Bukasa akahubiri hivyo and in the first day pastor Bukasa preached this way si John this wanaandika katika biblia this is how they write in the bible Timoteo akaenda hivyo Timothy went this way Sinivo. That's that's how it is. Na sisi hapa saa hii tuko tunaandika Biblia yetu saa hii. And we are also writing our Bible here. Saa hii in this hour. Tuko tunaandika yetu Biblia saa hii. We are writing our Bible here in this hour. Bwana bariki. Lord bless you. Kwanza mniruhusu. First of all, mniruhusu niseme kitu moja. Allow me to say something. Anasema sisi tuko tunaandika uh, agano la tatu. The prophet says that we are writing the third testament. Eh, hey, anasema sisi tunaandika agano la tatu. We are writing the third testament. Tusome. Let's read. Hallelujah. Hey, paragraph. I'm sinas. Eh? Okay, 5703310. Na sisi tunaandika agano la tatu. Bwana ubariki. Ah. Sisi tunaishi wakati ambao Mungu ameshuka na wanampiga picha. Sisi tunaishi wakati yenyewe mma nyumba zetu tuko na picha ya Mungu. Hapana We are living and in our houses yes. we have the pictures of we have the yes. picture of God. Picture ya Mungu. We have the picture of God in our houses. Sio kitu ambao walichapa. Not something that they painted. Mungu anashuka wanampika picha. God himself comes down and they take his picture. Wenye kwa na gari wanatembea na picha ya Mungu kwenye gari zao. Those who have cars they 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 drive with the, with God's picture in their cars. Nyumbani mwenu mnacha picha ya Mungu. At your houses you put the pictures the picture of God. Niwaambie kitu kingine wapendwa. Let me tell you another thing. Hiyo sio picha ya Nabii Ibrahim. That's not the picture of the prophet. Ah. No. Mungu God aliona vizuri. He saw it good. Wamupiga picha na Nabii. He saw it good that they should take him the picture with the prophet. Hiyo ni picha ya Mungu. That is the picture of God. Sasa tangu dunia iwe dunia. Now since the the world was formed the earth was formed it has never happened something like this that's why we read in the toronom inasema it says swali nyakati zilizopita ask the previous time jambo kama na hili nimesaka wali tendeka has happened before nyinyi ni watu ajabu sana you are wonderful people msikwa mnajirudisha nyuma don't take yourselves back Mnajiona kama tu tu bitu kidogo kidogo. And then you you despise yourself Mesa and pata. you see yourself like, like a small person. Ha? Ziko mbili. Ya ya ya. Hii iko. Hii sikutia kama ni asubuhi kama jioni kama. Ekutele uh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 22. Kisha mte tayari mweke tayari Ah okay Okay Utunaipata hapa 22 okay Now sasa na mweke tayari hiyo mabwana mabwana tunataka eh? sasa we will see Jesus. Ah, yeah, 2020. Mm -hmm. Um, eh, 60 mwaka 60 tarehe mwezi wa 12 tarehe 24. Tunasoma eh. We read this one first. Uh, paragraph ya hiyo ya pili 20, 27. Hiyo inaofuatia. Now ya what ya I think God was doing here. Sasa natu wa Mungu alikuwa akifanya hapa. Well also. If we we'll go back to the old testament kama tutarejea nyuma katika agano la kale just a little bit to pick up a little scripture tuichukue andiko dogo to bring up here before we close it kulileta juu hapa kabla hatujafunga oh all spirit 
nail it down for us. Oh, Roho Mtakatifu pigilia chini hilo kwa ajili yetu. In the Old Testament, katika leo wa kale, patana, patana, patterns, 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 uh, patterns and the type and the shadows. Kuna kuna mifano na vivuli na na michoro. All the Old Testament was kind of a shadow of the New Testament. Agano lote la kale lilikuwa kama kivuli cha agano jipya. And all that was in both na yote yaliyokuwa katika maagano yote mawili. Both testaments yote yaliyokuwa katika maagano yote is, mawili is a shadow of this day. Ni kivuli cha siku hii. Na agano la kale na agano jipya. The Ilikuwa, Old Testament and the New kivuli, Testament. Ilikuwa kivuli yako wewe. They were na. just a shadow of you and me. All of those two they were shadows of you and me. Yeah, of you and me. Amen. God bless you. Amen. So Let's read the other one. Stina moja 12:24. Aya 27. Nasikia kama iko mbili wanasema kama iko mbili huko. Iko moja au mbili huko. Hii inasema hivi. Uh, andika tu three testament. Three testament itakupati. Okay. 35. Tunasoma. And here is it today. Na hii hapa leo. Is today. Na yeye feeling the same way. Na yeye yu hapa leo akishughulika jinsi hiyo hiyo na watu wake. With the same signs. Akiwa na ishara zile zile. Same wonders. Na maajabu yale yale. Gospel, na injili ile. Same power. Na nguvu zile same zile. God, Mungu yule yule. Everything. Kila kitu with the three as witness akiwa na mashahidi watatu kwetu that this is the truth kwamba hii ni kweli this is the truth hii ni kweli god mungu given it in three testaments mungu aliitoa katika maagano matatu see that unaona hilo the bible is the story history of what god was Biblia ni uh, historia ya kile Mungu alichokuwa. So the history of the Old Testament. Kwa historia ya agano la kale. The New Testament. Agano jipya. The history of the New Testament. Ni historia ya agano jipya. And the Nicene. Nice yes, Nicene nice Council. Council and fathers and the Apostles Council is na, the history of na, the church then. Na baraza la mababa wa Nikea na wale mababa baada ya Nikea ni historia ya kanisa. And now, na sasa history is making on just as it was. Historia inafanya tu jinsi vile ilivyokuwa. Which this history will never be written. Ambapo historia hii ya sasa hivi haitoandikwa kamwe. No, it's too close to the coming now. Hapana, ni karibu sana ya kuja sasa. Ha. Anasema hii historia yetu sisi our history now haitaingia kwa Biblia kama hii it will not be written in the bible like this lakini but lakini ni agano la tatu but it is the third testament yenyewe haitaandikwa kwa Biblia sababu that one will never be written in the bible because this is finished sisi ndio tuna, tunafanya historia ya mwisho hapa we are now making the last history here but uh, badala yetu sisi hapa after we here after us here ita, ita moto, hapo. this earth will be burned with fire it will be over now amen bwana ubariki sasa wewe unajua kwamba now god knowing that watu wa kibiblia wa washinde the people of the bible will they are not better than wewe wewe unajua hiyo go with that knowledge wewe unajua hiyo go with that knowledge Haiko wakati mnasoma foibe foibe 
foibe foibe unajua hiyo mwanamke wa bibi ah okay it is not like you are reading about phibi in the bible au unasoma dorcas oh dorcas in the bible kama unaona sawa hapa kwetu si hatuna hatuna wasawa na dorcas and you think that we don't have dorcas we don't have phibi here wasawa na wale Uh, the same is those, those were so wonderful bas <laughs> bwana obariki may the lord bless you sasa now sisi njisi tulivyo the way the way we are here mungu alipotuumba sisi the way god created us alipomaliza kutuumba sisi wana na binti wake when god finished creating us his daughters and his sons Mungu alitufikia mahali fulani. God hid us somewhere. Sasa wakati unasema ma, wakati unaongea kuhusu mazirisho ya wana wa Mungu. When you are talking about the manifestation of the sons of God. Wakati unaongea kuhusu mazirisho. When you are talking about manifestation. Mas, manifestation. Yes. Hawawezi kuzirishwa kuzirisha kitu ambacho akikuwa kinafichwa mahali fulani they cannot manifest something which was not hidden somewhere you can't manifest something which was not hidden before kama wanasema manifestation manake hawa wana wa Mungu walikuwa wamefichwa mahali fulani if we are talking about manifestation it means this this uh, sons of god were hidden somewhere before kisha Mungu atawatoa kwenye walikuwa anawaficha then god will bring them from the where he hid them before kisha anawatia duniani and then he put them on the earth na watu sasa wawaone so that other people can see them sasa walikuwa wamefichwa wapi now where were these people hid, hidden before tusome kwanza biblia let's read in the bible first Tunasoma ufunuo. We read the book of Revelations. Wapendwa nataka muone kitu fulani. I need you brethren to see something. Msikomo mnawaza mnakaa mnafikiri mnafikiria kwamba kama kuna watu ambao wana nguvu ya kuponya wagonjwa ni ama pastors wetu. Sisi Don't think that the people with the power to heal the sick are the pastors. Nabii anasema The prophet says in every son and daughter of God there is a healing power. Sasa wewe mwenye wewe imani haikaze sana. Now you with a little faith utakuya tukusaidii. You will come we will help you. Tutakuombe. We pray for you. Lakini sisi hatutakupa uponyaji. But we cannot give you healing. Uponyaji tayari humo ndani yako. Healing is already within you. Tunasoma Let's read. Apocalypse uh, Revelation 5. Ufunuo sura ya 5. Tusome hapa. Pui uh, sura ya 5 mstari wa kwanza. Biblia yangu ni ya Kifaransa, okay. Kisha nikaona katika mkono wa kuume wake yeye aliyeketi juu ya kile kiti cha enzi kitabu kilichoandikwa ndani na nyuma kimetiwa muhuri saba hii kitabu tunaona kuna keti kuna mtu ana keti juu ya kiti this book we see there is someone uh, set on the throne sasa iko na hiyo kitabu mkononi mwake and has that book in his hand kisha hii kitabu kilikuwa kinawe, kinafungwa na miuri saba and this book was sealed with the seven with seven seals hapa kitabu kinafungwa here we see the book is sealed hapa yohani tayari alikuwa ameshanyakuliwa Here John was already raptured. Wakati yenyewe sauti ilimwambia panda juu. When the voice told him come up hither. Wakati sasa alienda huko kwenye alipanda juu. When he went up juu, there. Alipoingia mbinguni. When he went into heaven. Akaona mtu ana keti juu ya kiti. He saw one sitting on the throne. Kisha alikuwa na kitabu kwa mkono yake. With a book in his hand. Nikaona malaika mwenye nguvu akihubiri kwa sauti kuu. Nani astahili astahili yaye tembeza hiyo nini huko Nikaona malaika mwenye nguvu akihubiri kwa sauti kuu Nani astahili kufungua kitabu na kuzivunja miuri zake 
Nabi anasema hivi. The prophet said this. Asema hii kitabu mnaona. This book which you see ilikuwa ni kitabu ya mwanadamu. It was the uh, book which belongs to a human being. Mungu God alipomaliza kuumba kumuumba mwanadamu. When he finished the creation akampa Adamu hiyo kitabu. He gave Adam that book. Sasa mwa hiyo kitabu inside that book mulikuwa Mungu aliandika kama maneno. God written uh, some words inside that book. Na hiyo maneno and those words ilikuwa ni majina. It was the names ya wana na binti wa Mungu. Of the sons and daughters of God. Sasa Adamu alipoanguka When Adam fell, uh, Mungu akachukua hiyo kitabu. God took back that book. Sababu because mikono ya uchafu ya shetani haingeigusa kitabu hicho. The filthy hands of the devil could not uh, touch that book. God took that book. Mungu akakichukua. God took back that book. Sasa hapa sasa Yohane and here now John anamona Mungu akiwa na kitabu mkono. He see God with a book in his hand. Na njoo fast kwenyewe sisi wote tulipotelea ni hapo. That is the place where we all got lost. Mwanadamu alikuwa na mamlaka ya kutawala dunia. Kila kitu kilikuwa kinamtii. The human being had an authority to rule over the earth and everything was subject to him. Sasa alipopoteza kitabu akapoteza na hiyo mamlaka. When he lost the, he lost the book. When he lost the book he lost that authority. Sasa sasa Yohana akasikia sauti. And then John heard the voice. Hiyo sauti iko inaita mwenyata atachukua hiyo kitabu. That voice was calling uh, someone to take that book. Na na staili kwa tazama kitabu na kuvunja miuri yake. Was calling for someone who is worthy to look that book and, and, and lose the seal. Kwa kusema kwingine, in other words, nani anaweza chukua kitabu arudishie mwanadamu ambaye kipoteza? Who can take this book and take it back to the human being who lost it? Siku mwanadamu ata hiyo siku tu mwanadamu atapokea hiyo kitabu. The day that the, the human being will receive that book. Siku tu kitabu hiyo itarudia tena mkono wake. In that day when that book will come back to his hands. Neno lake litakuwa linaumba. His word now will Amen. create. Amen. Yote atasema itatimia. All thing that this man will speak will be done. Bwana wabariki. God bless you. Tendelea na kusoma. Let's continue. Wala pakuwa na mtu mbinguni wala juu ya inchi wala chini ya inchi aliyeweza kufungua hicho kitabu wala kukitazama. Nabii anasema the prophet says duniani hata mtu mmoja kustahili in the earth there was no one worthy chini ya dunia kwa wale ambao walikuwa wameshaka kufa zamani fariki zamani hata mmoja kustahili those who died before uh, who were under the earth no one was worthy Linguni, hata mmoja kustahili in the heaven there was no one worthy sababu mara hiyo Mungu hapa iko naomba bei kuko bei Mungu anaomba because at this time here god is asking for a price Juarudishe kitabu so that he can uh, bring back the Kwa mara ya kwanza alimpatia mwanadamu bila kumlomba kitu chochote. In the first time he gave the, the human being that book without asking. Me wakati alikipoteza Mungu analomba bei. So but when he lost it now God is asking for the price so that the book can go back. Vile unakipoteza kwa we, nini kurudishia unapasha lipa. If you lose something and I I tell you ulipoteza hiyo kitabu. The way you lose uh, you lost that book ili mimi nikurudishie hayo for me to give you back that book utalipa you have to pay na bei sasa Mungu alikuwa na muomba mwanadamu alikuwa naomba damu the price that god was asking was the blood sababu mwanadamu alianguka kwa kupitia damu because the human being fell through the blood sasa kwa kukombolewa ilibidi tena damu so to redeem this same man now the blood is required lazima iwe damu ambayo haina kosa haina hatia it must be the blood which is innocent jo kwa maana wakati wana aliangalia duniani because that's why when john look on the earth hata mtu mmoja akukwata mtu mmoja ambaye anaweza kutoa hiyo damu there was no one worthy to give that blood 
Even Brother Branham did, was not worthy of giving that blood. Because the blood which was running in, in, in his body was the blood of his father Charles. He could not afford to pay that price. Even he himself needed the salvation. So there was no one walking. In heaven there are angels who have no sin. But they, but they don't have blood. They, in their bodies have no blood. Now John uh, began to weep. Why did he weep? Because he saw that the human race is now being lost forever. Namilikalia Apatu kukifungua kile kitabu na zile miuri yake saba. Bwana wabariki. Nikaona katika yale ya kile katikati ya kile kiti cha enzi na wale wenye wai wale na katika yale o, 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 wazee Mwana kondo amesimama aliyekuwa kama uh, kana alikuwa kana kwamba amechinjwa mwenye pembe saba na macho saba uh, ni wapi tena ambazo ni roho saba za zilizotumwa katika dunia yote akajaa akaja akakitoa kita, kile kitabu katika mkono wa kuume wake yeye aliye keti juu ya kile kiti cha enzi hata alipo hata alipo kitoa kile kitabu hao wenye wai wane na wale wazee ishirini na wane wakaanguka mbele za mwana kondo kila mmoja wao ana kinumbi Wapi? Ni wapi ndugu? Verse 7. Verse 8. Msari wa nane. Kinumbi na vitasa vya zaabu. Vilivyo a. Ndugu, naenda wapi? I can read it from here. Kila mmoja wao ana kinumbi na vitasa vya zaabu vilivyojaa manukato ambayo ni maombi ya watakatifu na waimba wimbo mpya wakisema wastahili wewe kukitoa hicho kitabu na kuki na kuzifungua muuri zake kwa kuwa ulichinjwa ukamnunulia Mungu kwa damu yako watu wa kila kabila na lugha na jamaa na taifa ukawafanya kuwa ufalme na makuani kwa Mungu wetu nao wanamiliki juu ya inchi Bwana awabariki sasa hiyo kitabu nabii wetu anasema mwenye alikuwa na hiyo kitabu ni mwanadamu now the prophet say the one who had that book is the man is a wakati alikipoteza when he lost it kikarudi mikono ya Mungu it went back in the hands of god wakuwa mkono ya setani because the hands of the of satan aingeweza kugusa hii kitabu could not touch that book sasa wakati bwana yesu anakuja dunia wakati alipokuja duniani so when the lord jesus came on the earth Bwana Yesu aliku, alikuja kwa ajili ya watu wale ambao majina yao iko kwa hiyo kitabu. He came for those people whose names are on that book. 
Bwana wabariki. God bless you. Watu wanasema people says Bwana Yesu ni anakuja alikuja kuomboa dunia. The Lord Jesus came to save the world. Hiyo dunia that world si, si kila mtu. It is not everybody. Hiyo dunia that world ni wale ambao majina yao it is those whose names wa, imeandikwa katika kitabu hicho. Are written in that book. Sasa ninatafuta mahali hapo niwasomee. I'm looking for that place so that I can read it for you. Uh, Muni samee kidogo tutaipata alafu tutaisoma. You will excuse me. Uh, I will just find it and we read it for you. Uh, sao tunaipata hii soma hii ujumbe unaitwa mabwana tunataka kumuona Yesu uh, 63:11:12 kama tu, kama mwenyezi nisaidia kwenda haraka huko si naona they names were put on the book of life majina yao yalewekwa kwenye kitabu cha uzima the book of redemption kitabu cha ukombozi jesus come redeem those that had their name in the book. Yesu alikuja kukomboa wale waliokuwa na majina yao kwenye hicho kitabu. And when that last name is redeemed, na wakati jina hilo la mwisho limekombolewa, the lamb takes the book. Mwana kondoo anachukua hicho kitabu and walks away. Na anaondoka zake. That's all the redemption is over. Hicho tu ukombozi umeisha. It's closed doors. Imefungwa doors. Imefungwa hao tu. And now, na sasa, hii ni nyingine. Huni ujumbe naitwa macho yalipofunguliwa walimtambua 64:13:12 And now na sasa aya 19 If we were in the quickening at his beginning kama ulikuwa katika kule kuhuishwa mwanzo wake that's what he came to redeem Huyo ndiye anayekuja kukombolewa au kukombolewa Your name was put on the lamp Lamb's book of life. Na jina lako liko limewekwa kwenye kitabu cha uzima cha mwana Katika mawazo yake. Kule mwanzo. And he came to redeem. Na alikuja kukomboa. That in that 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 in that book. Alikuja kukomboa majina yote ambayo yapo kwenye hicho kitabu. No more. Si zaidi not one more. Sio zaidi hata jina moja zaidi. Just what was in there. Wale tu walikuwa ndani pale kwenye hilo kwenye hicho kitabu. Kwa maana ndio kwa maana that means wakati tunahubiri neno la Mungu. When we preach the word of God, tunahubiri tu. We just preach. Lazima tuambie watu kweli. We must tell the people the truth. Wale ambao majina yao yako katika kitabu, those whose names are in the book, watakuja tu. They will come wataamini tu they will believe and how hata leo maneno watu hawataamini leave those words those things people will not believe sisi tunataka tujaze kanisa wewe unaanza na maneno kama haya we want to fill the church and we are bringing things like this basi bwana wabariki may god bless you kongo nina kaka kanisa kadogo sana Congo. Congo has got a little I have a little church in Congo. Huku Congo. Kakanisa yangu ni kadogo sana. My church is a very small church. Na kakanisa yangu at my church nilikuwa na nilianza na wanafunzi. I began with the disciples. Students. Wanafunzi. Uh, awa, students. Hawana hawana cha kumi. They don't Awana have a tithe. Kumi. They don't have. Niliteseka na usana. I suffered with those uh, students. Kwa munda mrefu. For a very long time. 
Sasa huko kwetu kuna mama neno maneno kuna hao wanajifunga kwenye polygamy in our in, in our kipun... country there are a lot of things there are others in the polygamy Sasa wanasaidiana kwa hiyo kikundi and, yao and they have their group they help each other Wamoja wako hivi wengine wako hivi in this way other in that way uh, sasa mimi niliamua kutembea tu na neno but i decided to work with the world Niliona tu vizuri nitembee na neno. I, I saw it better to just walk with Sasa niliteseka sana. I suffered much. Lakini kwa saa hii. But in this hour, kanisa langu linakuwa na matajiri. Now the church has got to reach people. Kwa saa hii. At this time. Kwa saa hii. In this time. Kanisa langu linakuwa na watu. My church now has got people. Walikuwa wanaambia watu wa kanisa langu They were telling people in my Nye church. Muna, muna na Bukasa. Mungu you are going along with Bukasa. Have you seen God blessing him? Mungu Have you ever seen God blessing Kama him? Yale yake ni Bona If his words are true. Bona Mungu why God is not blessing him? <laughs> Lakini, but watu wangu. I stayed with those people. I preached to them. Nikiwaombea. I prayed for them. Nikiwaubiri tu maneno ya nabii. I preached to them the words of the prophet. Kwa saa hii now kwa kanisa langu and in my church niko na mmoja ambaye ni number 2. I have one who is number 2. Kwa kampuni yenyewe ilitia 20 billion dollars in the company which uh, has got a capital of 20 billion US dollars sijo mnaita nini si tunaita miliard de dollars 20 miliard kwa kanisa langu leo nina watu wakubwa kwa kanisa langu hata huyu mnyame kaa hapa si mdogo i have big people in my church that even this one sitting here is not a small person niliteseka nao I suffered with them. Sunona hata wakati nilikuwa nakula Tanzania hapa sikukuwa na vazi nzuri. In those time when I was coming here to make us smart. I was kama safari niko smart. Don't you see this time I'm I'm smart. Baki na neno Mungu atakubariki. Stay with the word and God will bless you. Baki tu na neno. Stay with the word only. Mungu atashuka mwa ile neno. God will come in that word na atakubariki. And he will bless you. Yes, Baki tu na neno. Just stay with the word. Hapana kuangaika ngaika kufata. Don't don't go this kufata way. Watu nyuma. Don't, don't follow people fatafata watu you follow people ni amini kama yeye kwa sababu i want to believe like this one because atakapopata shida atanisaidia when i have troubles he will help me sitaki kubakia mwenyewe i don't want to remain uh, myself alone utabakia mwenyewe namna gani how will you stay alone na mungu yako pale kwa ile picture and god is there in that picture utabakia mwenyewe namna gani how will you stay alone okay to so make it more yeah. let's read one thing here nabi anasem The prophet says uh, paragraph ubapatia haraka twende sina sina tatu sio tatu 19 aya 346 natamaliza natamalizia we are finishing this is the second seal paragraph 346 sunaona nili nakumbuka niliona niliona video moja hivi nilikuwa nahubiri kwa kwa mpendo wa I saw one video and I was preaching to in uh, Pastor Arnold's church. I saw that video I was uh, wearing a certain trouser. That time. I was suffering with those people at that time. In Congo. Lakini kwa saa hii but now mambo ni poa things are good the second seal muhuri wa pili toa hiyo paragraph 63319 aya 346 tunasoma let's read 346 jana nilikuwa na keti hapo kwa ndugu Dennis Juzi au jana nasikia mmoja kona nita 
mchungaji uh, mimi hapa niko hapa Lubumbashi napata kitu fulani nataka nitume nitume kwa njia gani one, when I was here, one, one church member was called and said, Pastor, I'm in Rubumbashi. I want to sell you something. How can I send it? But before, I didn't have a person like that. <laughs> Let's go our, our heads. Just a moment. Heavenly Father. But, but nevertheless, Hakuna Muchungaja there is no pastor here in the who will tell you that pastor asked me for money. Uh -huh. No. If they give me the money, I take it. Some people, will, uh, my church members will give me the money for transport. Ah, here. Okay. The, all the time that I was coming here, there was no time that I told the pastor I, I have a need now. In this small that you are giving, can you can you add something there? I have never done that before. There are others who are giving me transport, which I was getting in the bus, and it ends in the way when I'm going back to Congo. And I get at home with nothing. But I continued loving God. And to believe this prophet. Amen. And to preach this prophet. Amen. Now things has changed today. Amen. Stay with the prophet okay, only. To some, eh? Now let's read. Just something, huh? Let's bow our heads. Just a moment. Kitambo kidogo. Kwanza kwa kwa safari hii. Now in this uh, uh, this time, this time. This time. I saw Pastor Kambarage sending me money when I was still in Congo. Like that, we are shilling. He sent me uh, three hundred thousand shillings, Tanzanian shillings. God bless you. Safari ya kwanza kwa maisha yangu yote nione ninaenda kwa safari. The first time. Mtu wakula na kutumia pesa. The first time in my whole life that I'm going for a missionary journey and the person from that side is sending me money. We are kutumia pesa. This pastor sent me the money. I am not sure if the thing I'm preaching here they are pleasing to him or not. I'm not sure. Okay, tuneza soma. Let's read now. Let's bow our heads. Just a moment. Finamisha vija vietu kidogo. Heavenly Father. Baba wa mbinguni. I just, I just Sometimes, Lord, stand here. Oh, Baba, eh, wakati mwingine nikisimama hapa. And I tremble. Nina tetemeka. I think of that awful hour that's approaching, and I. Na wazia hiyo saa ya kutisha ndio karibia nami. There is no way to stop it. Hakuna njia ya ku ya kuikomesha it's au kuizuia. It's predicted. It would come. Imebashiriwa kwamba itakuja. I thought of. Nami nimewazia kwamba. Why don't the people come and and listen? Kwa nini watu wasije na kufi, na kusikiliza? And don't they come and accept it? Na kwa nini wasije na kuipokea? But of course. Lakini hata hivyo. Now. Sasa that you you said kwamba ulisema wasinge isingewezekana na sasa hawatoweza kuja there is some that got their names written on the bible lakini on, on the lamb's book of life lakini wapo baadhi ambao majina yao yameandikwa kwenye kitabu cha uzima cha mwana kondoo and when the seas are throw it open there na wakati mihuri ime imetupwa wazi pale they see their name. Wanaona majina yao pale. Pale. And the Holy Spirit speaks to them. Na Roho Mtakatifu anawanenea. They come. Wanakuja. You can't keep them away. Huwezi kuwasukumia mbali. No one can. 
No one. Hakuna anayeweza. Hakuna. They come anyhow. Wanakuja kwa vyo vyote. Because you leading them uh, leading them like you did those little birds. Kwa sababu unawaongoza kama ulivyoongoza wale ndege wadogo. Bwana ubariki. God bless you. Asema oh majina yao. He say those their names iko kwenye kitabu cha miuri. Are in the book of the seals. Wakati miuri inafunuliwa when the seals are open 43. Wakati miuri inafunuliwa when the seals are open wako wanaona jina yao. They see their names. Hata mtu mmoja hawezi kuwazuia. There is no even one person who can hinder them. Who can stop them? Watakuja tu. They will come anyhow. Kuja wapi? Where come here? Ujumbe. In the message. Uri saba. Of the seven seals. Wangurumo saba. Of the seven thunders. Hata unawazuia. Even if you try to hinder them. Watakuja tu. They will come anyhow. Sababu majina yao imeandikwa. Because their names are written there. Na hawa watu and these people wakati wana ume, umeipata hiyo No hiyo 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 tu the uh, same uri wa pili 43 Paraka 43 Hiyo hiyo tu tulikuwa tunasoma hapo Paraka 43 Sasa nabii anasema tumalize kwa kusoma hii Now see Satan now see Satan anamwona shetani raise those up ana wainua hao juu what is the shrewd dance tazama ujanja wa huyu jamaa of this fellow wa huyu jamaa that we talking about ambaye tunamzungumzia Satan shetani we 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 unfolding him right here tunamfunua yeye hapa just strapping him down tukimvua nguo tukim but the scriptures and and letting you see who he is lakini maandiko yanakuruhusu wewe umuone yeye ni nani that's uh, what is supposed to be done ni kitu gani kinapaswa kutendeka? And you remember, na sasa kumbuka. He has not tried to go in and under the be uh, communist Satan hasn't. Ha, hajawahi kujaribu kwenda na kuwa mkomunisti shetani. Hajawahi. He is an antichrist. Yeye ni mpinga Kristo. So close that Jesus said. Karibu sana mpaka Yesu akasema. He deceive the very elect, elected. Inge m- danganya hata mteule halisi and that's the, the ones that eat down in the in these seals na hao ndio wa, wale ambao wamefichwa chini katika mihuri hii whose name are on the book since the foundation of the world ambao majina yao hapo kwenye kitabu tangu misingi ya ulimwengu ndio kwa maana Miuri saba ni amana sana kwetu. That's it the that's why the seven series is so important to us. Kwa sababu majina yetu ilikuwa inafichwa humo. Our names were hid in those. Sasa wakati wa mtumishi wa Mungu, mapastors wetu. Now when the, the servants of God our pastors wanaenda kwenye mimbara, they come on the pulpit. Wanaanza kusema kuhusu miuri saba. They start speaking about the seven series. Wanaanza kuhubiri siri zenye Mungu alifunua leo. They they begin to preach about mysteries which God has ile joy inatusaidia kusikia jina yetu that will help us to hear our names na jina letu and our name haiandikwe kama it is not written as uh, wanaandika kama kambarage kambarage wanaandika kama bukasa bukasa jina haiandikwe hivyo our names are not written that way nabii anasema the prophet says hiyo jina yetu inaandikwa kwa njia ya siri Our names are written in a mystery. Dada jina yako ninanimpendwa. Sister what is your name? Elizabeth. Oh jina mama yangu. My mother's name. Sasa now Dada Elizabeth. Sister Elizabeth. Mwayo kitabu hawakuandika Elizabeth. In that book it is not written Elizabeth. Sababu Mungu mwenye hekima nyingi Because God chemchemi ya hekima. God who is a fountain of wisdom alijua kama kudunia msiku za mwisho wa Eliza watakuwa wengi he knew that on the earth in the last day there will be many elizabeth sasa wakati yenyewe nitaanza ita elizabeth elizabeth so when he will begin to call elizabeth elizabeth 
Labda huyu wa kwangu atakuwa eko ana iko ndani ya makazi. Maybe he will be in the house this Elizabeth who is the one is called he will be in the house and he is not hearing. He is doing some work. He is doing some work there. And maybe the other Elizabeth who is not in the is is not the one called. He might come and say it is me. That's why God never put a name like Elizabeth. Ah, Amina. God put a mystery. The place where was to be written Elizabeth. He put there Luke 17. Amen. But that Luke 17. It is Elizabeth. Hallelujah. Lakini anayanjika kwenye kwa siri. But he he written that name in a mystery. Sasa wakati pastor anakuja hapa ni. So when pastor comes on the pulpit, anaanza. He begins. Luke 17. Luke 17. Ni timia katika siku hizi. Has has for been fulfilled in this day. Ile njoo mliona. That's what you saw. Nabi wetu our prophet akipamanua siri za mioyo ya watu was uh, knowing secrets of the heart. Haikukua yeye. It was not him. It was God in him. He was not the secrets of the heart. Wakati pastor wetu anahubiri hivyo. At the time that the pastor is preaching that scripture that way. Elizabeth both imenyekuwa ndani ya kanisa. All the Elizabeths in the church. Ambao habako habako pale. Whose names are not there on that scripture? They will say, ah, what is that kind of a word? What is that scripture? What is that? That is, the prophet was known the secret of the heart. That, that is, that is the wisdom. But this Elizabeth, he, she will be jumping. Hallelujah. God be praised. Why? She has had her name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's read the interpretation of the prophet. The way the prophet is interpreting it. Maswali na majibu juu ya mihuri 630-0324 morning. Paragraph 113. Tunaweza enda haraka. Aya 113. Tunasoma. Now we read. Tuanzie hapa. Hapa. Hapa kwa mnani. Okay. Is it true that every jail jail eh Jiswali Jiswali namba 80 juu. Yes, juu. Ah, juu. Born since a cross that came into the wild is to be saved. Je, hili ni swali. Je ni kweli kwamba kila Myahudi aliyezaliwa tangu Kristo alipokuja ulimwenguni ataokolewa? Angalia hapo kwenye hapo kwenye wanaandika mnane hapo. Look at that question there. Question uh, number 8 I think 8A. No. Hapana. Nothing will be saved only those whose name were put on the Lamb's book of life. Hakuna kitakachookolewa isipokuwa wale tu ambao majina yao yaliwekwa kwenye kitabu cha mwana kondoo kama kuwekwa msingi wa ulimwengu mataifa au See, that's all hiyo tu the book holds that mystery kitabu kimeshikilia hilo fumbo the book is only unfolding it now na kitabu kinalifunua hilo fumbo sasa hivi aha no each one's name sio jina la kila mmoja but what the mystery of the book hallelujah is lakini fumbo linafunua fumbo la hicho kitabu lilicho why it's calling those names wakati anaita hayo majina hallelujah you find you understand that now unalielewa hiyo sasa hivi tunaendelea we continue 115 The book doesn't say Kitabu hakisemi Now Levi is to be saved Sasa Levi ataokolewa In time of this church age Wakati wakanisa hili Or Oma Never Or Oma Never Or whoever Or yeyote No Apana It don't say that Hali kitabu hakisemi hivyo It just shows the mystery kitabu kinaonesha fumbo tu 
the means of what the things is. But Lakin, we sis, ourselves wenyewe, by faith because Hallelujah. That's what I said the other night. Amen. That's why we are not afraid to preach the mystery. I love doctor. It doesn't need you to be a doctor. No. No. Is to read the words of the prophet. And then you come with those words in this uh, before the sons and daughters of God. And you read those words to them. It will help them to see their names. Don't misunderstand me. Don't misunderstand me. But if every day it is repent. Repent. You sister obey your husband. You brother love your wife. That is good even in my church I preach it. Because in the church we don't say those words people will be unbelievers. They will change and be unbelievers. But uh, sometimes you give them some, the mysteries. From time to time you give them some mysteries. You give them some mysteries. To help them <laughs> to hear their names. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because in that wife obey your, your husband, she will not hear the name. The name will be heard when the mystery is open. And the prophet says, Anasema, when the mysteries are open when the lamb takes the book and opens the seals who believe that he, his or her name is in that book now we read this when, when we are finishing hear this Stina, Stina tatu zero saba ishina nane Kristo ni siri ya mungu yu funuliwa Naomba muite tu isome sisi watu Aya ya miya tano ishina nane Paragraph 524 Nataka mungu yueke hapo tu isome sisi watu You to put it there so that we can all read it Paragraph 524. Okay. Now, Sasa, you see the seeds. Unaona mihuri. When he is when he is in his med, eh? meditorio Wait. work back there. Wakati yupo katika kazi yake ya upatanishi nyuma kule. Redeeming akikomboa but some day lakini siku moja he comes forth to get this book anakuja anajitokeza na kuchukua hiki kitabu is read me it ambacho kimekombolewa ambacho kimekombolewa and all that is in this book na yote aliyo katika kitabu hiki Aha, wote 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 walio ndani ya kitabu hiki would be would be watakuwa ye yeah, ye yeah. <laughs> What about oh, who whose name are in that book? The day the book is revealed, all of them will change. They become him. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. They become him. When you touch him or her, you are touching him. Hallelujah. You are touching him. Glory. If you curse her or him, you are cursing him. When you bless her or him, you are blessing him. Because all of them has changed and become him. 
Hallelujah. Now tell me where is Jesus today? Yes, Jesus is this one. 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 Because the prophet said all of them will change and they become him. Hallelujah. Who is him? Who is him? Him is God. Who him is Christ? Him Jesus. All will change. Becomes him. That's why everyone can speak can say the word and it it, it is being fulfilled. Why? Because he has already become him. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You want to look and all that in this book. Now what are you katika kitabu? Would be him. Watakuwa yeye. For kwa sababu the believer. Ha, huyo ndio mwaminio au hao ndio mwaminio. The words maneno ndani ya kitabu. And the word is him. Na neno ni yeye. The prophet says you are the words of that book. And the word it is him. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you.